So, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, in our course, Selected Topics in uh, Decision Modeling, today uh, let us have the lecture number 7 that is the knapsack problem. So, the knapsack problem as you all know is uh, you know uh, about in a uh, assuming there is a knapsack which you know this this one uh, suppose it has got a total weight restriction and we have a number of uh, different items and uh, each item has a weight and a value. So, what happens the idea is that how do I fill up this uh, particular knapsack with you know number of items. Uh, when we say number of items it does not really mean that uh, you know I just have one of each. It really means I can have a number of first one, a number of second one, uh, a number of third one or we may not have any from uh, a particular group. How do we do that? So, that we can carry the maximum possible value. So, the idea here is to fill up the knapsack with the maximum value uh, within the weight restriction and uh, how many of each type of items therefore, are to be stacked into the knapsack so as to maximize the total value within the restriction. Now, um, can you think of some problem which uh, you know uh, really resembles a knapsack problem? Uh, if you really recall then we have done one such problem that is called the cargo loading problem. So, you see the cargo loading problem what is really happening that there was a truck, the truck has to be filled with certain number of items and within the total weight restriction of the truck and uh, the idea was that how do I carry uh, items of the maximum possible value. So, that itself in a, in a generalized form can be called a knapsack problem. Now, let us see that how do I formulate a knapsack problem. So, let us say we stack x i number of i th item into the knapsack and we have n number of items. So, total number of items are n and i is a given item say may be the triangle here. So, let us say i is the triangle, 1 is the rect uh, rectangle and 2 is the triangle and 3 is these circles. Like this suppose there are more items than 4, 5 etcetera. The ith one let us say one of them and uh, therefore, the maximization will be maximize z equal to sum over i to n v i xi. Is it all right? So, maximizing the total value and subject to a restriction which is basically w i x i that means, the total weight of all these items should be less than equal to w that is the total weight of the knapsack. And uh, x i is this is the most important thing the individual number of items should be integers right. This is the restriction which is the most important here they are all integers and x i should be greater than equal to 0. Having said that uh, let me also tell you that this is not the only type of knapsack problem. There are knapsack problems which may be called as 0 1 knapsack problem where the item could be there or may not be there. So, those will be a special class of problems. There are also partial knapsack problems in uh, partial knapsack problem what really happens you know uh, you can have fractional amount of items as well right. So, assuming that is really possible suppose the items are really quantifiable and you can actually uh, you know take fractional amount in certain cases. Uh, maybe uh, in case of groceries you make some new packets out of some sacks. Suppose you can really do that 
then you may also have a partial knapsack problem. But forgetting about all those variations, the kind of problem that we are going to have in this particular uh, you know lecture is only the kind of knapsack problem that I have described that is x i s are integers, their values are 0 to certain numbers and also again uh, you know another variation that the number of items could be limited. So, suppose we do have here only 5 number of rectangles, triangles and uh, circles. In another problem, we may have maybe less number of rectangles. So, obviously, we cannot take more than them. So, uh, we have not put that restriction. So, let us assume that uh, there is really no limit to the one uh, number of items of a given variety. Right? So, that is how is the knapsack problem that we have considered here. So, having said that, uh, what is the difficulty in solving such knapsack problems? You see, uh, this problem really falls into the class of integer uh, linear programming. So, you see integer linear programming uh, problems, they which we shall take up in a big way uh, in our next uh, set of lectures. Uh, one thing to note here is that integer problems cannot be solved simply by uh, the methods such as uh, linear programming. You know, the uh, simplex method if you use as it is without integer considerations, you cannot solve the integer linear programming problem. So, since this is an integer linear pro programming method, we need some other method to solve such problems. That is the importance of the knapsack problems. So, what is that method that are available, uh, you know, we shall discuss here. As you all know, it is nothing but the dynamic programming method. So, uh, there it, it does not mean that dynamic programming is the only method of solving knapsack problems. There are other methods as well, but within the broad context of dynamic programming, uh, we discuss here only the dynamic programming uh, methods. Uh, there are two broad methods right, uh, or algorithms. The first one is the same as we have used in the solution of the cargo loading problem. Is it all right? So, you probably remember that how exactly we have gone ahead and solved the cargo loading problem. But uh, you know there are another algorithm which is also very popular and that algorithm we shall discuss in this particular lecture. So, what happens in this particular algorithm? An optimal uh, knapsack is built, uh, built up by first determining how to fill a small knapsack optimally and then using this information how to fill a larger knapsack optimally. So, like uh, what we really do, we take up a small knapsack, suppose our original weight restriction is let us say 10 kg uh, or uh, 10 tons, then first we take a very small knapsack let us say 1 ton, is it all right? And we take only one item, right? So, we take only one item and let us say we take only one ton uh, and see what kind of results are we going to get. Then we can you know uh, increase it and let us say call it say 2 tons then 3 tons, 4 tons. So, like this we increase the knapsack size and however, calculate the optimal number of item 1 in each such case. Once this is done, then we take a bigger problem that what is the optimal solution for if I take not one item, but item 1 and item 2 together. And while we do so, we make use of the optimal solution that we have found, uh, you know, combining item 1 and item 2. So, uh, once again, we start from let us say 1 turn, 2 turn, 3 turn and go all the way up to 10 turns. So, what really happened that we take a smaller knapsack and slowly increase the size and in the first stage, we take only one item and see uh, for each such knapsack steps, what is the optimal 
and how exactly we can uh, you know fill up the knapsack what is the optimal result. So, the optimal result that we get for uh, let us say one item can be used for you know at the subsequent stage where we have items 1 and 2. So, again by similar uh, procedure if I find the optimal solutions for two items using them we can actually uh, you know solve the for the items 1, 2 and 3. Like these we keep on increasing the items and finally, uh, when we get the final solution by uh, utilizing the previous stage results the final solution is available. So, in mathematical language we defining G i w to be optimum value of the knapsack of a combination of items 1 to i with cumulated weight or cumulative weight of w or less right. So, exactly in a in between stage let us say we are in the ith stage. So, an ith stage we take a combination of items 1 to i and weight should be considered from the minimum to w which is the weight restricted value the final uh, you know weight that we should have and let us call it g i w. So, uh, v i is the value earned from a single type of i item and see supposing v i is the value of an single item i is all right, but suppose it cannot be accommodated suppose our knapsack size at a given point is only 2 tons and uh, the item given item is weight is 3 tons. So, obviously, we cannot accommodate in that case the value will be 0 right and uh, let us say w i is the weight of a single i type i item then the recursive relationship look at it very carefully g i w equal to maximize v i plus g i comma w minus w i g i minus 1 w. So, what is this recursive relationship and what does it mean? So, let us see our next slide and try to understand that. So, as I said before that g i w is the optimum value of the knapsack of a combination of items 1 to i with cumulative weight of w or less. So, v i is the value earned and uh, w i is the weight and this is our recursive relationship. So, first of all v i is the value of an item i g i w minus w i what is w i? w i is the weight corresponding to that item i. So, if I deduct that item weight then w minus w i is the weight that I have left. So, what is the optimal value for that? So, use the same function please remember that while I fill up g i w I start from the minimum weight and move up to maximum weight w. So, already I have computed g i w minus w i because it is less than g i w is it all right. So, let us say that total weight is 10 tons and these i one single item of item uh, given item is say 4 tons then g i 6 I have already computed. So, suppose i equal to 2 w equal to 6 then you know let us write it here that g you know 2 6 g 2 comma 6 what will be g uh, uh, sorry total total is 10. So, uh, let us use the pen here. So, you see that g g 2 comma 10 right g 2 comma 10 will be what this g 2 comma 10 will be the weight of the the value with the second item and the value of the second item suppose that value is 7 then this should be g 2 comma 6 why g 2 comma 6 because you know 2 is the second item 6 is the remaining weight that I have available. So, this is the first part of the thing right. So, having uh, this kind of value that we have the recursive relationship that g i w will be max v i plus g i w minus w i 
Uh, however, at the previous stage that is i plus 1. So, if i equal to 2, then in the first stage where we consider only one item, what was the optimal value that we have had? So, this value or this value whatever is the highest, we take the maximum of these two and that will be our g i w. Right? So, this is the recursive relationship uh, that we are going to use. So, in mathematical language it is the value of one number of ith item plus optimum combination of weight w minus w i of items 1 to i in the same set of iterations. And g i minus 1 w is the value of optimal combination of weight w of items 1 to i minus 1. Now, uh, let us go further and see how do I uh, do this in the in the given example. right? So, let us say a given knapsack problem. right? So, let us take a knapsack problem. Uh, the knapsack problem is the knapsack is to be loaded with stocks of 3 items in any quantities. Each item has a weight w i I mean item i and a value v i. The maximum weight of the knapsack is 10 kg and these 3 items have got weight 3 tons value 5 lakhs let us say in rupees lakhs I call it rupees L. Uh, second item 4 tons and 7 lakhs, third item 5 tons and 8 lakhs. So, what is the optimum combination within the knapsack of 10 kg I mean uh, obviously if I say tons then it cannot be kg it should be 10 tons. So, 10 tons how do I uh, you know maximize the value that is the knapsack problem. So, how do we go ahead with this particular problem? So, look here uh, that recursive relationship that I said that we be used. So, it is written here for our reference what we do really so, the knapsack size could be anything from 1 to 2. So, I start taking smaller knapsacks first starting with only one item and fill up for the smallest knapsack that is knapsack of one weight, one ton, knapsack of two ton, knapsack of three tons, four tons, five tons, six up to ten tons. Right? Then at the second stage we use items 1 and 2 both. And in the final stage, we use items 1, 2 and 3 all together is all right. So, these are the 3 stages. Uh, what could be the state? The st stage is clear that there are 3 stages. In the first stage, we consider only item 1. In the second stage, we consider both items 1 and 2. And in the third stage, we uh, really do the items 1, 2 and 3. And uh, you know the state could be measured by the amount of weight that we are going to allocate. So, this is the recursive relationship and this is how uh, we go ahead with the problem. So, let us see at the stage 1 if I have only one item that is the first item only. How do I use the formula? Uh, see at the very first you know at the first if I have only an one ton uh, you know the simplest problem and one ton knapsack and only one item. right? So, we have only one item and we have a single knapsack of one. So, what will happen? The maxima is 0. What is 0? 0 is the value. Why the value is 0? Because the first item weight is 3 tons and its value is 5 lakhs, but we do not have 3 tons, we have only 1 ton. So, we cannot really put an item 1 here. So, obviously, the value cannot come in. So, it should be 0. Uh, at the next stage, you know the, the other 0 is basically what is the item, suppose it cannot be accommodated. So, g i w minus w i will be 0 also, because you see there is 0, 1 ton available. So, we could not accommodate. So, there is no question of w i. So, therefore, this term will not exist. right? So, that will be 0 also. 
and there is no previous uh, you know there is no previous item. So, since it is the first item, so obviously the optimal value for the previous item will be 0 also. So, it will be 0. So, like this we compute. So, as an example let us see what happens if the weight is 5 tons. If the weight is 5 tons we what we did you see now it will be very clear uh, what is the weight of a single what is the value of a single item 1 right. So, we have taken item 1. So, we are here. So, this is item 1. So, a single item 1 the value is 5 right. So, this value of 5 that is the V i. So, look here this V i we talk about. So, what is V i? The V i is this 5 is it all right. So, this 5 is put here. So, this 5 and what is this 0? The 0 could be found out look here the weight here is 3. So, what is the weight? Weight is 3. So, what we do? This 5 that we have a knapsack of 5. So, 5 minus 3 how much is 5 minus 3? So, w minus w i will become 5 minus 3 equal to 2 right. So, 2 tons is what we left. So, what will be the 2 tons? So, you see what is the g item 1 weight 2 tons that means g 1 2 this is the g 1 2 and what is that value? It is 0. So, that 0 is taken here. I hope you understand and there is no previous item. So, it will be 0. So, what is the net? Net value should be 5. So, this is all explained here. So, column for weight 5 ton maximize 5 plus 0, 5 is the value of 1 unit of item 1, 0 is the optimal value for remaining weight of 5 minus 3 into 1 that is 2 ton and 0 is the optimal value from the previous stage. Right? So, this is how uh, you can compute let us say that a single item. Now, uh, if we have to go one stage further, uh, if uh, let us say we have to go uh, next stage, uh, you know supposing uh, another calculation let us see. So, here something is slightly different what happens similar calculation, what happens if we have uh, you know knapsack size of 10 tons. So, in the 10 tons maximize 5 plus 10 comma 0 where 5 is the value of 1 unit of item 1 as we have seen earlier. So, you see this is the same value that is 5 right. So, one sec we are in the previous slide yeah. So, this is the 5 that is the value the 10 is essentially what is will be 10. 10 will be look here 3 is the weight of a single item. So, 10 minus 3 7 ton knapsack what is the optimal solution? So, 7, tack, uh, 7 ton knapsack that is the g i w minus w i the optimal solution was 10. So, these 10 and these 5 will be 15 and the previous is 0. So, obviously, this value should be 15. So, now I hope you understood that how exactly we calculate uh, all the knapsack values if when we in the stage 1 and if we take let us say only one item. Uh, next uh, go to the next stage. So, as I go to the next stage then we take two items that is item 1 and item 2 together. So, when we take item 1 and item 2 together now you look at the recursive relationship once again. Now, you tell me what is this g i minus 1 w? What is this term? This term will come into play. This term is nothing but the optimal value for a given size knapsack. Suppose knapsack size is w, the optimal value at item 1 level. So, the highlighted one let us see. The highlighted one is a 5 ton knapsack. So, if I take a 5 ton knapsack, what will be your g i minus 1 5? When currently, we are in the second item, right. So, we are now considering item 2 that is the decision. The 
state is the uh, stage is the using both items 1 and 2. Please understand the one part is we are adding item 2 into the knapsack, we are considering a knapsack of both items 1 and 2 while considering the previous value. So, the highlighted one should be what? It should be 5. Can you see that? Because that is the optimal value of a 5 size knapsack of a single item right? of the item 1. Is it alright? So, that is the previous optimal right? and that 5 is here. So, you see this is explained here that is the 5. So, 5 optimal value for the previous stage. Now, uh, how this is computed? 7, what is 7? 7 is the value corresponding to the current item. So, current item i, the optimal value is 7. So, this is that 7, right? And what is this 0? The other value that is 0 is supposing these knapsack, this particular item weight is 4 tons, right? So, total weight was 5 tons. So, 5 minus 4 is 1 ton. So, what is the, you know, knapsack size of 1, the optimal value was 0. So, that 0 we put here, right? So, that is 7 plus 0 and 5, the, you know, optimal value therefore, should be 7 at the knapsack size of 5. So, I hope you understood. So, if you have understood, now you should explain how an 8 knapsack should be evaluated in the same stage that is items 1 and 2. Why items 1 and 2? We are considering item 2, but we are using the optimal value at the item 1 level. Is it all right? So, once again, what is this 7? 7 is the value for the item 2. This 10 is the previous value for the same knapsack size. And since out of a 10 knapsack size, we have taken out 4 tons because of a single item. So, the 6 knapsack size, sorry, uh, the uh, we are at the 8. So, 8 was the knapsack size. So, 8 knapsack, if you take out the 4 tons, then that, uh, I am sorry once again. So, we have the 10, 10 is our knapsack size. So, out of this, out of this 8 knapsack size, if we take out the 4 tons, that leaves us the remaining 4 tons. And so, the other 4 tons will be you know the optimal was 7 and that is how we got this 14. Is it alright? So, this is how is we calculate and one more example you see if I have a 10 knapsack size then we make use of the 6 knapsack because the weight is 4 tons. So, that optimal is 10, 7 is the current weight, 17, 15 was previous. So, we get the 17 knapsack size. So, uh, that completes our item 1 and 2. Let us go ahead with the all the 3 items together. So, when we take all the 3 items together, a similar calculation can be done. Uh, while we do a similar calculation, we should keep in mind that at this stage, we are considering all the 3 items that is 1, 2 and 3. As we consider all the 3 items, we make use of the stage 2 values which are considering both item 1 and item 2. So, if I add the item 3 things now with the optimal value, so previous stage optimal is g i minus 1 w is that of stage 2, I mean item 2 corresponding to stage 2, these optimal values are of stage 2 and those stage 2 values 10 really considers both item 1 and item 2. So, when I add the item 3 value that is 8 to this, you know, it becomes the optimal value for the all the items together. So, if I have an op, uh, knapsack size of 6, then the current weight is 5, obviously the remaining knapsack will be 1 whose optimal value is 0. So, 8 plus 0 and the 10 that is previous, we get 10 that is at the 6 knapsack size. One more example, if we have a 10 knapsack size and we are here, 8 is the current value that 5 is the weight. 
So, if I consider the 5 knapsack the optimal was 8. So, these 8 and 8 and 17 previous. So, obviously, the value should be 17. So, combining them all now we have the total result and everything has been put here. We have still one job to do that is finding the optimal solution. So, how do I find out optimal solution? We start at the highest possible value. Look here the highest possible value out of everything here that is the 17. Now, the question is that where from this 17 came? See the 17 that came that 8 plus 8 was lower than 17 that means the previous value was important. So, we go to the previous value right. This 17 has come from you know there is the 10 this 10 because this 17 one item was taken of value 7 and we have gone to this stage. This 10 again the previous value was higher. So, we have come from here and this 10 has been obtained because the you know weight is 3 came from here that is 5 and this 5 has come from 0th value obviously. So, what does it say? It say that have one item from these values one item of item 2, 2 items of item 1. So, what is our optimal solution? item 1 2 numbers, item 2 1 number and item 3 none and what will be the maximum value 17. So, let us combine them all once again that is the 17 value that we have got clearly shows that third item 17 is the highest knapsack value that is the optimal solution, but the value has not come from consideration of third item it has come from previous item that is items 1 and 2. Now, again the 7 plus 10 is higher than 15 that means at least one item 3 value has been taken. So, taking uh, considering that one item if I leave out then the remaining knapsack that remains is that of 6 because 4 is the weight of the second item. So, when we do that then I see that the knapsack now of uh, size 6 you know we have 7 plus 0 that is 10 and using this knapsack again it has come from previous value which has come from the consideration of two items. Is it all right? So, that is how we find the optimal solution and the maximum value using this algorithm right. So, thank you very much.